Golf Destination, presented by Gosling's of Bermuda. The taste of Bermuda. Coming up on Golf Destination, presented by Gosling's of Bermuda. We're on Cape Cod, and specifically the quaint town of Barnstable, Massachusetts. The home of the Kennedys is also the home for two fantastic courses that you can play. Old Barnstable Fairgrounds and Hyannis Golf Course. We'll visit these courses and take a look around town. Plus, we'll get the Avidia Bank teaching tip from a New England PGA member. All that and more, next. Everybody, I'm Grace Zlinski and welcome to GolfDestination.tv presented by Goslings of Bermuda. Today we visit Barnstable, Massachusetts. Barnstable is the home of two fantastic golf courses, Old Barnstable Fairgrounds and Hyannis Golf Course. The town of Barnstable does have two fantastic golf courses and we're at a destination location known for the weather, it's known for the beaches, it's known for all different types of sports and recreation and I think the golf courses fit in very well with that. Our goal is to provide conditions as close to one would find at a private club for a municipal price. The golf division is self-sufficient. We run off of the revenues that we generate. The town is very good in giving us the leeway to run these two golf courses in the best way we see fit. And that means putting the resources into the course to give our customers a great golfing experience, covering all of that debt, making enough money, and putting capital back into the courses to improve the product. So I have a great relationship with senior town management of the town. They've been very supportive in what we're trying to do, and we do this without taxpayer support. The fact that we have two golf courses built at two completely separate time periods, they offer two completely different layouts. The great thing for the members is the simple fact that if we're performing course maintenance functions on one course or we have a tournament or an outing, we've always got another course. The members are never going to get shut out. At Hyannis especially, we do large groups and outings. We do that extremely well. At Old Barnstable, they cater more towards the smaller groups. We've got a nine hole quota league here at Hyannis that's got over 100 members. We have men's leagues, ladies' leagues. We do two day member guests. We do one day member guests, two day member members where the pass holders will play both courses on different days. Here at Hyannis, it's nice because our function room here is much larger than Old Barnstable. It's actually one of the largest function rooms available right here in downtown Hyannis. We also have started this year running tournaments where they're open to the public. You don't have to be a member. All you have to do is pay the fee to come on in and be a part of it. And what that's done is actually converted people who have never been here. They played in some of our events and immediately became members. Hey. Here at Hyannis, our midweek special, it's Sunday after 1 p.m and Monday through Thursday all day. 18 holes of golf with a cart and a small bucket of balls for $59. I think you'd be hard pressed to find greens as good as this and be able to play with a cart for less than 60 bucks. It's a heck of a deal and the people that are coming and taking advantage of it are loving it. We're gonna be putting about a million dollars worth of capital into the two clubhouses. We replaced the roofs this spring. We've done bathroom renovations. Both golf courses are gonna have new decks and new awnings and windows and doors and other upgrades. So we're taking the money that we're making, we're putting it right back into the golf courses. Next year, we'll be celebrating our 25th year of being in the golf business when we celebrate Old Barnstable Fairgrounds 25th year. We've been here at Hyannis as owners and operators for about 10 years. Town of Barnstable takes great pride in its golf courses and we feel we've got a pretty darn good product here. Cape Cod is known around the world as being a fantastic vacation destination. And in the heart of it all is Barnstable, which is comprised of 11 villages with Hyannis being the largest. Barnstable is a county. It is a town and it is one of the seven villages of the town of Barnstable. We have Centerville, Catuit, Hyannis, Marsons Mills, Osterville, and West Barnstable. Each village has its own personality and Marsons Mills and West Barnstable have very rural appeal to them, also very historical. 
Hyannis is really the hub of not only the town of Barnstable, but it's the hub of Cape Cod. We have the Barnstable Municipal Airport, we have the Cape Cod Regional Transit Authority, we have a very large working harbor, we have the Steamship Authority. We also have Highline Cruises that operates to both Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard, and they do sightseeing and fishing tours. With Main Street, we have a lot of nice local shops, and there's really something for everyone. We have very special beaches within the town of Barnstable. Kalmas Beach is one of the best beaches for windsurfing. Craigville Beach in Centerville is also one of the most popular beaches on Cape Cod. And we have a real jewel on the north side, and that's Sandy Neck, which is located in West Barnstable. What's really exciting about the town of Barnstable is that we have not one, but two cultural districts, which means you can spend plenty of time engaging in the arts, not just seeing and doing, but really participating. We have artist shanties spring through the fall. Not only do they sell, but they work on their trade, so it's a really nice way to meet some local artists. We have plenty of museums. We have the Maritime Museum. We have the Kennedy Museum, and we have the Kennedy Legacy Trail, which is a really wonderful way, self-guided, free walking tour. You're just feet away from any one of a number of acts all summer long, right at the Melody Tent, and also in walking distance, right from the Melody Tent, you can stroll down Main Street and to the harborfront. One of our signature events here is the Pops by the Sea, where we have the Boston Symphony Orchestra right here on our front lawn. Of course, there's the Father's Day Car Show and over 300 classic and contemporary cars for you to take a look at. You can have an artful day, I like to say. Up next, we visit Old Barnstable Fairgrounds Golf Course, a Cape Cod favorite since 1992. Welcome back, I'm Grace Dzlinski. Now let's learn why Old Barnstable Fairgrounds Golf Course is a must play when you visit the Cape. What best describes Old Barnstable? I believe it's a course for everybody. There's four sets of tees. Everything is right in front of you. We have a great clubhouse. We have a great practice facility. And we have a lot of resident members and non-resident members. And I think playability is for everybody here. People love to walk the golf course. They love the environment. Uh, most of the holes bordering other holes, so there's not a lot of houses around. So you really get to see hole for hole, and, and I think people like to be out in nature. The holes are wide open, right in front of you, very playable. We've got five par threes, which is a little different design. When we start off, it's a par five, par three, par five, par three. So it really gets you going. You need to use all your clubs in the first four or five holes. Then it sets up with four or five par fours and then gets you down to the 10th hole, which is another par five. So it's really challenging. The par fives are definitely reachable in three. The par fours are definitely reachable. If you take a par five and you try to go for it in two, that's where the greenside bunkers are gonna come in play. The greens are very receptive. They're very big, they have undulations in them. That can play to whatever game you wanna have that day. Old Barnstable Fairgrounds has a full driving range with two chipping areas, an extra putting green. We have a fully stocked pro shop. We have a restaurant that's open throughout the year. We have professionals that give lessons at both courses as well as junior clinics and we have some ladies clinics. This facility provides uh, good access to a lot of our seniors. We have an early back nine play. A lot of guys just want to play nine holes. We have a lot of tournaments and a lot of players just like to come out and we have a beautiful deck and sit out and watch the sunset. To make a tea time at Old Barnstable and at Hyannis Golf Course, um, there's a couple ways you can do it. We start January 1st, allowing people to book any non-member time throughout the year. And we also have an automated tea time system that is available 10 days in advance. We have a large group of members. Most of our members are seniors and a lot of them are original members. So our culture is play golf and have fun. Here's some of the stats that you need to know when teeing it up at Old Barnstable Fairgrounds. Old Barnstable Fairgrounds is a par 71 golf course designed by Mark Mungem and Brian Silva. From the back markers, it plays over 6,400 yards with a 71.4 course rating and a slope of 128. Learn more or book your tee time online at barnstablegolf.com or call them at 508 
420-420-1141. Well, now that you know the pertinent information, Mary rejoins us to show us some holes you will remember when your round is done. At Old Marshall Fairgrounds, the first hole is the hole that jumps out at me the most. It's a double dog leg left. You really have to place your tee shot. We've got a lateral hazard on the left, some trees on the right. The second shot is to a narrow neck, probably hit it about 100 yards from the green, and then from there onto the large undulating green. It's a really good opening hole. You can get in a lot of trouble, but if you play your cards right, you can score well. The other hole on the front nine, which I think is a hole that really has to be mentioned, is the seventh hole. It's 457 yards from the blue tees. It is the most challenging hole on the golf course. It's the number one stroke hole. Most people are on in three and hopefully have a chance for the par. I'd say bogey is a, a really good score on that hole and typically wins right in your face, so that's a tough hole. One of the holes I think that really sticks out on the back nine at Old Barnesville is the 13th hole. It's not really that long, but you really have to place your shots. The right-hand side is guarded with a cluster of bunkers, so you have to stay to the left of the fairway. The green is also guarded with a tall oak tree and three other bunkers guarding that green. It's not long, but you really have to place your shots. The 16th hole at Old Barnesville Fairgrounds is a long par four. It's pretty wide open fairway, but you can get in trouble. It's guarded by woods on both sides. The second shot in is probably the hardest shot because the green is guarded by bunkers on each side and the neck of the approach to the green is really narrow. So you really have to get the shot in there. So I would say that 16 is probably one of the best holes on the golf course just because of the placement of the ball. Old Barnstable Fairgrounds, 18th hole, to me is the toughest hole in the golf course. It's a double dog leg, par five, and you gotta go up the hill to approach the green. You can either go short of the bunkers or try to go over the cluster of bunkers on your tee shot. Then you have to deal with the holly tree that is in the middle of the fairway. You can go left, you can go right. My advice is to stay to the left and then you have a good approach to the green. There is one green side bunker, and you'd be surprised how many golf balls go in that bunker for the size of it. It's an undulating green. The front right is a very sneaky pin. It's very slick there. The back left, it's hard to get to because the bunker is protecting it. My bet is try to go right for the middle, and hopefully you'll have a birdie for the last hole. Up next, we visit the sister course of Old Barnstable Fairgrounds, Hyannis Golf Course, when Golf Destination, presented by Gossings of Bermuda, returns. Welcome back to GolfDestination.tv, presented by Gossings of Bermuda, I'm Grace Zislinski. We continue with our visit to Barnstable, Massachusetts, on the Cape at Hyannis Golf Course. I would best describe Hyannis Golf Course as um, really a, a, a wonderful, unique golf course in that there's 18 unique holes here. A lot of elevation change, a lot of undulation, a lot of very cool views from the tee boxes, and some of the absolute best putting services you can find around in this area. To play well at Hyannis Golf Course, I think you need, above all, maybe some imagination and creativity because there's a lot of undulation in the golf course as a rule, so you're going to be hitting a lot of shots that aren't necessarily directly at your target, if that makes sense. You need to use the slope and use the terrain to get the ball where it needs to be, but overall it's a very playable golf course and it's also a very challenging golf course. As far as programming here at Hyannis Golf Course, we're very proud to be home to the largest chapter of the first tee of Massachusetts, also the only one on Cape Cod. We have over 500 junior golfers that come through this place. They learn not just golf, but the nine core values that the first tee teaches. David Donnell and our teaching professional here, along with his staff of professionals, do an excellent job with that. We also are proud to be home to four PGA Junior League teams. It's kind of like Little League for golf. We also have Get Golf Ready, which is beginning clinics for people of all ages. So it's not all just about juniors. If you're an adult and you want to learn how to play this wonderful game, we have programming here for you as well. Highness Golf Courses, it really is a huge part of our community here in Barnstable with over a thousand pass holders that use this place really as recreation, social interaction, a competitive outlet, frankly exercise. It really is a big part of the community we have from just your casual golfers who just want to play their round to your more competitive golfers. We just started a Monday Quota League that I'm proud to say already has over 100 members in it and only its second year of existence. Weekend games we run in the morning, so even if you're not a super competitive golfer, there's a lot of opportunities here to play at whatever level you want to. We have one of the best practice facilities you'll find. 
from a practice range with 50 bays to hit out of to two large, perfectly conditioned practice greens. Our range has real targets to hit to. It really is a great place to work on your game in game-like conditions. We absolutely love hosting groups here. It's one of the things we think we do very well, and it's one of the things we do a lot of, from a group of eight to a group of 150. We love rolling out the red carpet for groups from the moment you walk in, seeing your name on the big scoreboard and the carts all lined up. For any group of any size, they can simply contact us uh, through our website, our pro shop, email, and every single group we have, we treat it as if it is the biggest event of the year. Hyannis Golf Course is a par 71 for men and 72 for women. It can be played at 6,621 yards from the blue markers with a course rating of 71.7 and a slope of 133. To learn more and book a tee time, visit barnstablegolf.com or call them at 508-362-2606. Jesse Schechtman returns now to tell us about some holes to pay special attention to when you tee it up at Hyannis. My favorite hole in the front nine has to be number two, which has kind of been our signature hole over the years. It's a beautiful tee shot to a real wide fairway. You hit over a protected wetlands area. Your second shot is to an elevated green that's two-tiered. It really is like two greens in one. Beautiful bunkers on either side. It really is a beautiful golf hole, tee to green. On the back nine, my favorite hole has to be number 12. You're teeing up from well above the fairway. It's a beautiful look down to the fairway, and then once you get down there, you're hitting to a three-tiered green that never plays the same twice. who have played these Barnstable golf courses. And we get the Avidia Bank golf tip. Now it's time for the Avidia Bank golf tip of the week. This teaching tip by a New England PGA teaching professional is brought to you by Avidia Bank. My name is Ryan Mondor, assistant golf professional here at Cape Nevic Country Club. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to keep the ball a little bit lower. So often we're told the ball needs to be towards the middle of the stance. Well, in reality, if we're trying to hit the ball just a little bit lower, we actually need to drive that positioning back just a touch. Our goal on these shots will be to create a strike down on the golf ball with our forward momentum leading us towards the target. The hands will release and we'll keep our finish a lot lower. If you ever watch golf on TV, PGA Tour, LPGA Tour, you'll see that the pros control their shots with how they finish with their hands. A player will try to hit a higher shot, you'll see a much higher finish a player trying to hit a lower shot, you'll see a much lower finish. With this shot here, we're going to try to control our follow through. We won't get too far away from the body, and we'll keep everything much more compact. So hopefully next time you're here at Cape Nettic Country Club, this tip can help you get through the round. Now let's talk to some of the golfers who just finished playing at these fine Barnstable golf courses. And we've been coming to Hyannis now, it used to be called Iono Hills when we first started coming here 30 years ago. Everybody here has treated us extremely well, very friendly, they're very accommodating. The course just keeps getting better and better. They keep making improvements to it. There's no such thing as a flat spot on this course. Very challenging in that regard. Lots of fun, makes it very even. Lots of different levels of golfers can play here. There's plenty of uh, elevation changes here. A lot of times you're hitting from way above and you know down into where there might be some water holes and that sort of thing. When I first came to Old Barnstable Fairgrounds, I was relatively new at golf, a little reticent as to how to step into the situation. The people here were very welcoming. The staff is terrific. Members were absolutely super. I just think it's terrific. And I happen to be retired military I've traveled and played in a lot of other courses throughout the country, and I think this is one of the best courses I've played in. The Old Bosco Fairgrounds is, I, I just love coming here and playing. I love the scenery, the trees, and it's just a comfortable, wonderful course to play. And the people are extremely, extremely nice here. This is one of the best uh, condition courses for a public course that uh, any of my guests have played at. 
They all rave about it. I belong to the uh, men's league and we play Wednesdays. It's a great camaraderie with them, a good group to play with, and some of the tournaments are wonderful. We have members tournaments that, that are good, and member gifts also. So overall, uh, the, the atmosphere is very, very, very positive. We hope you enjoyed our visit to Barnstable, Massachusetts, and their two terrific municipal courses, Old Barnstable Fairgrounds and Hyannis Golf Course. There's so much to do on Cape Cod and in Barnstable, and these two courses should definitely be on your list. Be sure to check us out on all our social media pages at Golf Destination. The conversation and the content are always on. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you soon. I'm Grace Dzlinski.